what's good everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl j simmers and we are back with another house tour so on today's video guys we are gonna be touring my cottage so let me take you guys um through the front landscaping of this build so of course you guys know i love plants so i had to try my best to include as much plants as i possibly could and I really went for the overgrown look. So as you guys can see, I, I tried to implement a lot of different flowers and trees and everything that just um, would go good together to give that overall overgrown look. Over here, we also have a nice little duck pond. We also have the, um, the pair of lovebirds. So, you know, we do have a number of things here going for us. I did include a little beehive as well. Note that everything you see here is also um, accessible. So they can use the campfire. They could literally use anything that you see in this build. I did make sure that they can um, use them. So if you guys are wondering about these flowers um, that looks to be growing out of the, the ground, that is actually a trick that I use now. Um, let me show you guys what that is. So you go into basement and you have like these arches, these wedding arches. And I think because it's too big or too tall, they usually just like penetrate through like the ground. And like if you were to put this inside downstairs, then you would see it upstairs. So basically, I usually just put them in the basement. It's kind of tricky to place because sometimes it doesn't actually look um, the way that you want it to. So you do have to kind of play around with it. But all in all, it's not a glitch. It's perfectly normal. You can use it um, in your builds as well. But yeah, so this is just the front of my build, guys. Let me show you guys a little zoomed out um, picture of what that looks like. So really went all out with the landscaping. And of course, you guys know this um, cottage would be inspired by the stuff that we got from the charming cottage update so that's what we are gonna see now when we enter the house so we're gonna go through the entryway and we are met with this gorgeous 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 um cozy living room setup of course i went ahead to use the white um furniture and the blue wallpaper so yeah we have a cool tv setup um, we have a nice little section here that I think a good amount of Sims could come here and be entertained. So we have that, um, over in this section, we also have like a little study desk as well. So again, um, whoever lives here, which I will introduce to you guys soon. Um, but whoever lives here could come here and study and do, um, different things. Also, I did want to make use of this little corner space here so I did include some antique paintings um, a record player and a chess table all of which guys is accessible so your sims can come here they can play chess they can also access the record player um, so all of these things are pretty much functional over here we have like a cozy fireplace we have a coat rack and some just newspapers um, that they probably brought in that the mail guy, paper boy, dropped off early this morning. So that's the main living space, I would say. And then we enter over here and this is where we're going to see what the kitchen looks like. So this is my cute little cottage kitchen. So we have these gorgeous wooden cupboards again with the antique windows um of course you know it's a cottage so i wanted to kind of add like fresh things especially like this basket i feel like this basket is something that you would find in a cottage so we have those things we have the fresh produce so we have the oranges and whatever you want to pretend that is we have all of those fresh fruit to choose from we do have a nice little pantry in the back there as well um nicely tucked away also um i did go ahead to add this dining table so this dining table again is very accessible um your sims can come here and eat i have tested it out so it does work 
and over in this corner we have like the little stove and the fridge and all that good stuff so it's a pretty cozy cute um space i would say but definitely it's something that i enjoyed putting together and i think that the colors inside of here just works for what i was going for so that's the kitchen we're gonna make our way um over into the i would not really a second living space but kind of so that's just through this entryway here and we enter into this room so we have like a bookshelf um of course you guys can see this plants you know i can't build a house without plants so this bookshelf i thought was pretty um cool to add because it already had plants on it and so we have all these books and again because it's like wooden it just suits the vibe of this cottage so very well so we have more hanging plants i did go ahead to add these lights guys because again i just feel like it just suit the vibe so much i feel like that's something that you would definitely see in a cottage so that was the the lights that i use mostly in this entire build so we have a nice little seating area here of course you cannot access the bookshop because i technically blocked it up um but it's just for like decoration purposes i guess but we can't pretend that it's actually accessible in this little corner here as you guys can see i did make use of it so i have this cute little hanging seat so that person whoever they are they can just come here and chill get some fresh air and of course you guys are seeing that we have like the windows so you can get fresh breeze from here guys okay guys so i had to move from where i was recording because my neighbor um decided to play like loud music so hopefully you can't hear that in the background so i also try to talk over that so like, let's try to see if we could get through this video so um in this space we also have like a washing machine which i would imagine would double up as a washing machine and a dryer so they have all of their essentials there neatly tucked in um and then the door out back here actually leads to like the yard back here so this is the part of the yard um that of course extends from the front so over here we have like the garden hose uh we also have like a lemon tree you know just stuff that i think you would use um in general on a cottage so of course and when you live in a cottage i think you usually have like a lot of um home growing plants and stuff so i found this to be pretty cool you know so i have that and i also have some tools out here so like the rake and just yard tools things that you would need of course um this is my sim that lives here i do plan to have a story because i am gonna have a family here originally i built this house um with nobody in mind but then i was like maybe i could put a family here so yeah that's the plan for long term but i have to finish creating the family but yeah, so we have a nice little um, section over here where, again, we can do some work. And as we're outside, I'm going to show you guys this section of the yard. So all around here, again, guys, you have lots of different plants. I am super, super happy with the fact that this just looks overgrown and it literally looks as though everything is like jumbled up together. And it's so cool. Like you know we can't actually put plants very close to each other so i love the fact that i can still give off the illusion of having plants together so that's this little section right here and then we have like a little well again because i think that's something that you would find um in a cottage so all of that were things that i um really enjoyed putting here also I've never actually found a cute place to put these gorgeous flowers that we get from the magical rainforest because I feel like it's something that it's so pretty but also you need like the surroundings to, to match so I feel like this is the first time that I've actually had my house able to match those flowers because I was able to use it at least four times I would say in this build so I was super super excited about that all right so Let's make our way back inside and then we are going to head into the bathroom area, of course, where the bedroom is, the bathroom is. <laughs> so, 
all right so through this door is where we're gonna see what the bedroom looks like okay guys so of course you guys know i am super super excited um to show this so i just i love the vibe in here like it's so cozy it's so so warm everything is wooden and antique and i just i love every aspect peak the new um wallpaper the bed the lamp and the woods like i just love how the woods just blend in so so well um with everything so yeah so we do have a gorgeous um bed we have the multiple views and of course you guys are seeing that the plants is very see-through in this bedroom so i love how everything is just so open and last minute i decided to incorporate um this little section here just in case she decided that she wants to have a baby that's where i thought about maybe having a family here because i was like i just love how everything just came together and it's so pretty i just i wanted to create a family to live here so we have like a nice little crib and of course you guys can see I did keep in team or with the antique um, cottage vibe so everything is still wooded and she can accommodate a baby now so there's that we have some random clutter storage stuff there and uh, this is the little entryway into the bathroom you guys know I love ensuite bathrooms and you guys also know that I love clutter. So I think the bedroom and the bathrooms are like two of my favorite places to actually decorate. So when we walk in, we actually are met with this cute, gorgeous setup. Again, following with the team of cottage. And I did add the wallpaper in here as well. We have the plants. Um, we have the sink. Also, guys, I'm not really sure where this, this painting came from. But um, I did go ahead to add it because it is one of our new paintings. So I thought it was so, so cute there. It, just, it actually fit the vibe here. So I was super happy with that. And I think we just have everything that we need in this bathroom all neatly tucked into this cute little space. And of course, this bathroom is like, again, trying to keep in team with the, the antique um, vibe. So... I felt like the shower actually matched the wallpaper, so I was super, super happy about that. Then, last but not least, we have a nice, cute, cozy space out here. So, again, with the landscaping in the back here, we do have some gorgeous plants. And over here, we have, like, the little section where she would come and she would hang her clothes. And I did go ahead to add a little seat there just, you know, for adding that seat. But in reality i wanted this space to feel like somewhere that you can come outside and even though you're just doing laundry you're supposed to still be able to get like fresh air and be one with nature so that was the the overall goal for this so that is pretty much my house tour my cottage house tour guys hope you guys enjoyed of course you guys can clearly see that i enjoyed um you know putting this together especially landscaping you guys don't even know like how long it actually took me to design this i bulldoze this house a hundred times before i could actually get around to um making everything come together and huh, it was definitely a task but it was a task well with it and i'm super super happy with how everything turned out so of course you guys know you can look out for my screenshots and i will be i will try to upload another house tour next week I'm not making any promises because my schedule is kind of busy these days but i will try so in the meantime do enjoy the screenshots thank you guys so so much for watching as always i appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you guys in the next video bye